As you know, the NMC UK has announced some changes to their current test of competence and its structure. Hi everyone, through this video we are intending to update you with the changes in the new NMC test of competence. We have included the following for you in this video. 1. New CBT structure, time, pass mark, and fees. 2. Changes to the CBT booking process. 3. Contents of the new two-part CBT exams. 4. Format and provision of CBT results. The new NMC test of competence starts from 2nd of August 2021. Candidates are not eligible to book for the old version of CBT anymore. This is in effect from July 19, 2021. NMC UK had planned to start with the new test of competence in summer of 2020. However, due to the current pandemic situation the plans were changed. 1. New CBT exam structure and fees. Structure. As mentioned in the beginning, the new test of competence begins from August 2, 2021. The NMC UK has structured the new CBT into Part A and Part B. Part A includes numeracy questions, generally known as medication calculation questions, and Part B includes clinical questions for adult nursing. Duration of exam. As part of the new NMC CBT exam, candidates will get a total of three hours to complete Part A and Part B. Part A has 15 marks for numeracy questions also known as medication calculation questions, and candidates have 30 minutes to complete this part. Part B includes a set of 100 single-choice questions with four options. Candidates will get two hours and 30 minutes to complete these clinical-based questions of Part B. Pass Mark each adult nursing candidate must achieve an overall passing score of 68% to pass the new NMC CBT two-part exam. Besides, NMC CBT has patient and public safety focused 20 critical questions in Part B. Moreover, each candidate should score 90% from this section to pass Part B NMC CBT. Part A numeracy, generally called medication calculation, has 15 questions, and each candidate should score 90%. So you need 14 correct answers out of 15 to pass Part A numeracy. In conclusion, out of 115 questions to answer you need to score 90% from 35 questions to pass the new NMC CBT. Fees For those candidates appearing for both parts of the new CBT exam, the fees will be £83. Besides, it remains the same if a candidate has to resit for both parts. However, if a candidate is resitting only for Part A the fees will be £50, and for Part B will be £70. For you to explore the new version of the UK NMC CBT exam, and to practice, or to prepare for the exam you could visit our sample online course in the first link on the description. 2. Changes to the CBT booking process. Candidates are open to book for the new two-part NMC CBT exam from July 19, 2021 on Pearson VUE's booking platform, and can appear for the exam from August 2, 2021. New applicants will receive a reminder email to log into their Pearson VUE platform to book for the CBT exam. 3. Contents of the new two-part CBT exams. Content of Part A, Numeracy, generally called Medication Calculation. In this Part A, Medication Calculations, candidates will get a set of 15 apply and analyze level of questions to answer. Candidates can expect two questions about measuring the correct dose, two on metric units, four on oral medications, three on injections, three on intravenous infusions, and one question on fluid balance. If you want to have a closer look at the table, follow the link on the description. In this Part B, Candidates will get a total of 100 theory questions to answer outlined under seven platforms in NMC UK Standards of Proficiency for Registered Nurses. Candidates' theoretical knowledge and clinical conduct against any given circumstance is assessed under seven platforms. These seven platforms are 1. Being an accountable professional 2. Promoting health and preventing ill health 3. Assessing needs and planning care 4. Providing and evaluating care. 5. Leading and managing nursing care and working in teams. 6. Improving safety and quality of care. 7. 
coordinating care. The communication and relationship management skills are assessed in Annex A and nursing procedures and skills are evaluated in Annex B against each platform. You can find the link for this content and skills coverage table in the description. This will give you an overview of how the knowledge of a candidate against each standard is assessed in the test of competence. For format and provision of CBT result. Each candidate will be notified of their CBT results within 15 working days from the date of test taken. Results will be given on Part A and Part B individually as either pass or fail. Candidates must pass both Part A and Part B of the NMC CBT for them to be accepted onto NMC register for the nurses. Furthermore, candidates have to take both parts of the CBT in a single sitting. However, if a candidate fails, they need to resit only for the part they failed, either A or B. For you to explore the new version of the UK NMC CBT exam, and to practice, or to prepare for the exam, you could visit our sample online course in the first link on the description. If you find this section useful, please like it and share with your friends. More CBT-related subjects will be uploaded in the coming days. To get the notification, consider subscribing our channel. Visit our YouTube channel for more clear-cut medical subjects. Thanks for watching.